Emil, thank you very much for the invitation here at Grob in Germany. This is your main plant in Meidelheim. Now, what I'm really interested in is industry for digitalization. You head this up for Grob Germany, and what I'm really interested to know is how do you use this data and how do you use it for the benefit of your customers? So their customer requirements are mainly very different and we use the data for the customer's benefit in case of analyzing the data, using it for a continuous improvement process, bringing more transparency into the production process and using all the available data to get ways more shorter, transfer the important information to the responsible person directly and using that so wisely that the customer can get profit out of it. Now, you actually make your own machines with very specific grub machines. Have you learned Industry 4 from your plant here? Yes. Uh, we started roughly 10 years ago by um, using more and more automation and robotic systems that makes us develop new technologies to transfer data to connect machines to step into paperless production, production control, transferring data to standby services on the weekends, in the night shifts, to manless um, shifts. So there we growing up with the digitalization by our self-experience. And have you had experience from the automotive sector? It's been one of your key areas of growth over the years. Have you learned a lot of industry for and utilized that for your customers' benefits there? Um, of course not. The problem is they are very restricted in their IT regulations. The problem is that we are the producer of the machines, but the usage is completely different by the automotive industry. So they are in their own closed system. But as we produce slightly every part of the machine by ourselves, we are self a producer. So we understand the requirements of a production very deeply. And so we grow by ourselves. Now, this new control panel that you've got here is part of the process of digitalization. Could you tell me exactly why this is different and why it's better? Yes. Um, the main thing is the standard control is just that side. That what we see here is a standard Siemens control. But we thought that whenever I have uh, information that is missing or a document that I have to get to get my part produced, then I have to run away from the system and that's some losing time and that's not beneficial for our customers. So that's why we de develop a system where we have the possibility to access into separate data. We can have everything on site what we need for our production process. We have applications available where we can see the next part, we can check the next part, so we have every functionality that is normally on a different space on one control. So that is called multifunctionality and without any movement that is necessary to get all informations. And can this be integrated with CAD CAM packages as well? Yes, a CAD CAM system is integrated um, from the delivering term. So that means we have a pre-installed CAD CAM system but as it has an integrated industrial computer, we have network connectivity and we can access to any kind of um, IT system that is connected in the customer's network. And the burning question is, is that a lot of engineers are used to, uh, let's say two or three major control panels uh, on operating systems. Now, how does that benefit in reference to Grob? Is it easy transition to actually make? The transmission is very easy, but um, important to say is that Group is customer focused 100%. So when a customer wants to have a system, we fully individualize, produce the system on the customer requirements. For example, we can have a Siemens, a Heidenheim or a Fano control in front of the system. So the customer can tell us his ex uh, exactly requirements and we follow these requirements and produce the machine individually. And finally, for any engineers that are looking at a grob, looking at a five-axis machine tool that really want to actually sort of understand grob, digitalization, industry 4, what would be your message to them? So don't worry about industry 4.0. Everybody has a different use case. That has to be defined a bit and then directly came to us, tell us your requirement, 
and we can fully fill all the requirements um, that can be upcoming with the 4.0. Beginning from data transmission up to analyzing data, up to condition monitoring for a predictive maintenance, so everything is possible. Important what I wanted to say is, digitalization and 4.0 starts with the connectivity basically. So everybody that NOS has connected his machines now have to start with that immediately. That's the big point.